Hi, I'm Picky Apricot Steve Andrews, and I'm going to show you how to set up discussion forums on your Wild Apricot site. You can add a discussion forum to your Wild Apricot site so that visitors can post messages and replies to other messages. Adding a forum provides your members a place to congregate, collaborate, and discuss ideas. Discussion forums, like other site content, are inserted into pages as gadgets, in this case a discussion forum gadget. To add a discussion forum gadget to a page on your site, begin editing the page onto which you want the forum to appear. Now, click the Gadgets icon to display the list of available gadgets. Next, drag the discussion forum gadget from the list and drop it where you want it to appear on the page. You can insert it into a section within a layout, or above or below a layout, or above or below another gadget. After you've dropped the gadget into the desired location, hover your pointer over it and click the Settings icon. From the Gadget Settings panel on the left, you can choose the desired settings for your discussion forum. You can enter a forum name used to identify the forum within the settings for the Forum Updates gadget and a forum summary gadget. If you want to display a picture above the member's name in forum messages, you can select the picture field from your contact or membership database. If member pictures are enabled, the member's picture will be displayed in their forum posts unless the picture field is restricted under their privacy settings. You can set the default order in which forum replies are listed, newest to oldest or oldest to newest. Visitors to your forum will have the option of changing the order for each forum topic. You can provide a brief description that will appear for the forum on the Forum Summary gadget and optionally on this gadget as well. If you have multiple discussion forums, you can assign each one to a category. Categories can be used to group forums on a Forum Summary page. To create a new category, click Add New, then type the category name in the field below. Under Access Permissions, you can control what visitors to your forum can do. You can set access permissions separately for public visitors and for each membership level and member group. For each visitor type, you can specify no access or specify the ability to read but not reply to topics, the ability to read and reply but not post new topics, or the ability to read, reply, and post new topics. If you restrict permissions by both membership levels and member groups, then members will be granted the highest permission assigned to the levels and groups they belong to. As well, you can set the margin, the amount of space in pixels, that appears outside the gadget. For designers and developers familiar with HTML and CSS, advanced settings are also available. If you want to display a page title for your forum, you can add a content gadget above the discussion forum gadget. To prevent automated software, known as spam bots, from bombarding your forum with spam posts, you can enable Wild Apricot's anti-spam CAPTCHA feature. To enable CAPTCHA for forum posts, go to Settings and click Anti-Spam Settings under Security. On the screen that appears, click the checkbox beside Forum Topic Reply, then click Save Changes. With CAPTCHA enabled, visitors to your forum would have to enter a set of characters proving them to be a person rather than a program, before being able to submit a forum topic or reply. You can customize the forum page that appears when visitors create, view, or reply to forum topics by modifying the Forum Topic System page. To customize the Forum Topic System page, select the System Pages option from the Website menu. Then, within the System Page list, Select Forum Topic. 
Now, click the Edit button. You can modify the system page in a number of ways. You can change the page template from the page settings on the left. You can hover over the blue box, the system gadget that displays the actual forum topic, and click the settings icon to display the settings for the system gadget. You can click the gadgets or layouts icons to insert gadgets or layouts above or below the system gadget. If you set up multiple discussion forums, you can add a forum summary gadget to a page to view activity across your forums. Forums are grouped within the summary by the categories you assign to each forum in the Discussion Forum Gadget settings. Forum names and descriptions are also derived from Discussion Forum Gadget settings. From the Forum Summary Gadget settings, you can choose which forums to include in the summary. You can also display a list of the most recent forum updates by adding a Forum Update Gadget. Topics from multiple forums will be combined into a single list. From the Forum Update Gadget settings, you can control how many updates are displayed and which forums to include in the list. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.